With Videoscribe, you can create animated videos very easily. Videoscribe is an easy to use drag and drop animated video maker for beginners to even professionals. You can create short stopping animated GIFs and videos in simple minutes. So all you need to know is that Videoscribe is a versatile animation tool for projects, no matter how big or small it is, you can use it to create your content and it's available in all operating systems. Okay. You can record in all fields from teaching and education through to growing your YouTube channel to viral status. You can do whatever you want to create stories, whoever your audience is, Videoscribe can get your message remembered. Okay. With Videoscribe, you can send a lot of uh, inspirational messages and you can uplift your business. You can use it for tutorials. You can use it for marketers or for nonprofits. You can do that as well. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the step by step on how to use Videoscribe as a beginner or as a professional. You can just follow along and I assure you, you are going to have a perfect understanding of this very simple software. So without taking much of our time, let's get started from the beginning on how to download it, install it, and then use it fully in this very tutorial. The first thing you need to do is to head on to your browser, open your browser and come straight away to the search bar over here and just search for videoscribe.co and it's going to bring you over here. Videoscribe is powered by Sparkle. Animated videos made easy. Easy drag and drop animated video maker for beginners to professionals. Videoscribe helps you turn your ideas into show-stopping animated realities. So actually you can have a preview of what you can expect, people who have used it and what you should create, what you could create with Videoscribe. You can do quite a lot with this very animating platform. You can just go ahead and have a preview and a look at what it, what are the key functions and features of it. But then if you want to try for seven days, you can come to free trial for seven days over here or you can just click on buy now because it's one of the cheapest video animation software that i have seen and uh, or you can come to products over here and just click on this drop down and you can come to free trial over here so once you click on free trial it's going to pop up and bring you to where you're going to register this is a seven day free trial you put in your name your email and everything and you will have access with this free trial you will have access to there's no credit card no obligation so during the seven day free trial you get access to all of the video scraps features the only limitation is when you download something when you download a feature it's going to carry some watermark so that's just the basic difference but then you will be able to explore all of it and have an idea of what it does and what you can do with it so just put in your email email address full name and then passwords obey the characters and you register. So once you register, you'll be able to have access to download it. Nowadays, you have Videoscribe online as well, so you can use it online if you so wish. So the next thing is to open the software after downloading and installing. It's a click through software, very easy to install. So once you just come over, you can see it over here, Videoscribe. So once you just click on it, And you can see it coming up, Videoscribe. So you just put in your email and password and just click on login. If you want to start logging in or if you want to create a new account, you can go ahead and create from here as well. Or if you want to work offline, you can as well work offline. It all depends on you. If you want to work offline, most of the features, you will not have access to them. But if you want to see direct features, the most updated features in Videoscribe, then you can have to enable working online and you just log in directly. So let's say you want to log in and work online. You just click on this and you start working with the software. So now we have logged in. So upon login, this is the screen that you're going to be welcomed with. So the first thing you need to notice is that you have the previously saved work or works that you have, you are currently working on. You will see them all over here, listed over here. You can sort them accordingly from the newest to the oldest to lettered a to z or newest modified or oldest modified or they are about and over here you can click on this to create a new scribe or you can open an existing scribe that you have saved somewhere in your computer or in another external drive you can just click on open and you navigate to that location where you saved it locally and then you can be able to open and then you can have recent scribe which is what we have over here then you have online scribes. There are so many online scribes that if you want to have access to, you can also have access and you have templates. If you want to work on templates or you start working from templates, 
you can still see your, any of them and then you can click to start working with templates depending so before we go any far we need to understand the key settings in sparkle so you can access the key settings in sparkle by just coming down here to the bottom left and you can see this gear icon you just click on it and you have access to the user preferences so the first thing you need to notice is the language right now it's set to english you can change language if you want or you can manage your sparkle account from here and you can change the scribe defaults for example the transition time between one image to another usually is one second you can change it to default maybe 0 0.5 and you can change the pause time is 0 0.5 seconds and then the maximum draw time is 8.0 seconds and then you can have the image quality usually 800 pixel you can enable or disable the view extent tool tips and the timeline bar quick menu step you can enable all this but usually when i'm starting i don't check touch any of these depending on what i'm going to create i can always uh, play around with the default very nicely so once you're done setting up you can just hit on this tick icon to accept everything so the next thing is we we'll try to create a new project or a new scribe so you just click on click create a new scribe and you brought in over here so this is a very blank canvas so once you are here you will see that there's nothing here so the next thing is let me try to take you through some of the key features in video scribe the first one you see at the top left is the save icon you want to create a project you can just go ahead and save and you can have save as in cases when you are working on a project and you want to save it as a different name or a different folder or using different location you can cut you can copy you can paste you can do all that from here and then over here you have the scribe music there are a bunch of music in the library you can just click and you have access to different kind of music from here so many music you can see them page one page two page three later on i will show you how to use all of them so this is music and then this is voiceover you can click to have voiceover you can import voiceover or you can make voiceover within the scribe over here you have the background option you can change the background option and down here you have the scribe hand tool you can change it from here and this icon simply means you can start playing your scribe from scratch okay this is from scratch and this is the icon that you play at a particular selected image you can start from somewhere okay not from scratch this is from scratch this is start from somewhere and then over here you can share the scribe in different kind of uh, formats this is where you you click to download your scribe at the end of it all so this is the main canvas you can see it over here it's empty down here you have access you can move left right up and down using these arrows and then you have the zoom in and out tool over here open to full fit to screen over here you can fit this canvas to the entire screen if you so wish and then later on i will show you how to use the add new image button over here and then add text and then the add charts okay add new chart icon over here and down here we have the camera view options later i will explain everything in detail So the next thing that I want to show us is how to add an image into the canvas, how to bring in an image to create our story. Okay, so to add an image into the canvas, all you need to do is to come to the bottom right over here to the add new image tool over here. You just click on it and you have access to, to this platform. Okay, so what you see to the right is the recently used images that I have used on my different projects. Okay, so you can see them over here up to five pages so you can see them multiple pages these are images that i have added into different projects that i have worked on and you can see these are recently used and you can see recommended images if you have some recommended images based on what you have been working on you will see them over here so these are recommended images and you can have purchased images in cases when you have purchased images where you see it and then you have different kind of you know, other images depending on what kind of message you want to try to create or you are developing so you have arrows over here a bunch of them you can see them different pages and you have buildings over here depending on what kind of story do you have you want to tell a story about houses or about companies or about buildings or they are about you have different kind of call outs when people are speaking you can easily attach any you have different kind of emojis you can have money different types of money people of different types different situations different scenarios 
of people, okay, different conditions depending on what your story or your message is. You have female, you have male people, you have scenery of different types. You can just go ahead and just have a preview in cases when you have to create a story, you can know where exactly to go on and search for or and find. This is technology. You have different kind of technologies, the phones, the computers, the earpiece and the cameras and they're about. And then you have vehicles of different types. If you want to tell a story about different types of vehicle, you can find, you can be sure that you're going to find something related to what you are going to talk about over here. And then you have alphabets of different characters. You have them online and you have animals of different types. Any kind of animal you want to target, you can see it over here. Different kind of animals. You have animals, animated alphabets, and then you have backdrops, different kind of backdrops in cases when you want to apply backdrops to your stories. You can see them over here when creating different kind of content. Okay, so you have body parts all over here. You have business features. You can see them different kind of businesses, ideas or things that you can easily use to tell people about your business. You have cartoons of different types. You can just check around and you see different kind of reactions, different kind of scenarios showcasing your message. So you have celebrations of different types. Okay. Depending on what message you want to send, you will find an image that you can easily attach and then reconnect and everything to make meaning out of it. So you can see different kind, different types over here, different, different categories, different, different class. You have gifts even online. And you have music online if you want to bring in. You have science. You've got shapes over here. And so many more. Okay, so many more. So the first thing that I think I should tell you that can easily help you not continuously be searching through diff the different kind of categories is you can add a search item over here. So for example, I want to search something like social media. I can just come all the way over here and just click on this. And you can see different kind of things that can depict my social media. For example, I always like to pull this one. So all you need to do is just to click and you have it attached into your canvas. So this is social media, for example, something related. I can click again and maybe I can search something like computer. Okay, you can search as well. Depending on what kind of message you are trying to send, you just wait a second and you can see different kind of computers, people, working on computer, different reactions, different cartoons, different kind of uh, scenarios. Okay, you can see people working on the computer. You can select on anyone and you can see it will just enter. Okay, default is at the center. You can just easily select and drag and move it around. So you can add as many pictures as you want, depending on what kind of message you are sending. Like I said, you can search for another thing, maybe hospital. You can just search for hospital and you see something related to that. Okay, so you can see different kind of hospital equipment, people in the hospital and cartoons of different kind of uh, hospital things. So you can, you have just free to just take on anyone depending on your message. So this is how to basically bring in images into the canvas. You can bring an image into the canvas. One thing you should pay attention to is as you are bringing the image, you can see them in the timeline. Later on, I will show you all the key features that you need to understand about the arrangement of the images and the, and how they are going to be appearing as you are playing them in the canvas. Okay, so this is how to bring an image. You can bring in additional image. In cases when you have images that are not here, you can easily visit other sites and bring in images from there. Or you can bring in external images into the canvas as well. So by doing to bring in an external image, you can come down here and see import an SVG, GIF, PNG, JPEG, or zipped file. You can all import from here. You just click on this and you can navigate to wherever you want to bring in that kind of file. Maybe it's within your computer and you've saved it somewhere. For example, let's say I have this data and I want to bring it in. I just select it and just say open and it's going to come in. It's going to be imported just like so. So you have the option to select whether it's going to come in in draw or move in or fade in whichever one you select i can leave it at draw and then you can say reveal or sketch okay so let's say sketch and you have the option to play over here to have a preview of how this is going to be played so you just click on it to have a preview
So this is just a preview of how you're going to have this very image that you've imported, imported into your, you know, your work as well. So you just select this and it's going to bring it in into the timeline. You have the option to zoom in and out to adjust the sizing over here very easily and you can play around with them also if you cannot see the images you are looking for also in this panel you can also search for those images on the web if you have the url or you can visit a particular website you can just click on this and you can paste in the url of that particular location of the image and it's going to bring it in directly by just pasting the url it's going to bring it in and you can import it very easily so basically this is how to import image into the canvas All right, so now that we have learned how to import an image, the next thing is let's try to adjust the image properties. Let's try to see how to use and adjust the image properties. So select, uh, for example, if we select this particular image, we have two options to look at its properties from the canvas over here. You can double click on it and you have the image properties over here. So the first thing you see is a sample of the image. You can click on it to have a preview of how it is going to be drawn or is how it's going to come in into the timeline and you can see it just like so very easily done and perfectly from the left you see the select image option you can go back to the select image you can come to the graphic filters this is where you play around with the blurriness nature of the image you can see the glow you can change the color also from here from black to any color okay i think i like it at black you can change the brightness increase or decrease you can change the saturation increase or decrease you can change the contrast and you can play around enable drop shadow or enable inner shadow or be bevel you can enable all this okay and next you have the drawing options the full color usually contains these four colors you can you're free to change according to your message if you have another color or you can change from check from the standard color and you can check pick in any color and change it accordingly if you want to change the color from this to to this one you can easily change and once you select you can see a preview about how that color is going to look like on the person or on the place you have selected this is full color and you are free to check this is a drawing option the first is a how it's going to be drawn is it going to be draw or is it going to move in or is it going to fade in or is it going to morph okay so for drawing is what we have previewed if it is a move in you have to specify the location the direction okay which direction do you want it to come from the top from the side from the side over here over diagonally or you can see it from the bottom or diagonal to the top left to the top right or they are about whichever location you have to specify and then you can specify what kind of moving is it smooth or overshoot or bounce or uniform movement whichever one usually i leave it as smooth and then you can check the coloration you can leave it a full color or you can leave it an outline or you can make it grayscale or see hot or anyone okay so you can select easily and down here you have the option to make it solid 100 solid or you can make it you can reduce the solidness okay you can reduce the opacity this is 100 solid or you can reduce the opacity also if you want you can rotate it from here by just increasing this you can see it's going to be rotating and you can have a preview about the rotation also you can see it is tilting a little bit or you can just click at the center and put in a given a given angle maybe for example 40 degrees and you can just click on ok and you can see it has tilted so once you click you to have a preview you can see it is tilted already okay so you can see because we put it as move in you can see it tilted at 45 degrees so this is about the rotation you can bring it back to zero because it's not making much sense so let's keep it at zero the next thing is the flipping you can flip an image for example right now it's like this you can flip it and you can see it changes the direction okay the female is now here and the male uh, is here so you can uh, also flip it to another direction you can make it top to bottom like that or you can change the direction also at the other way you can play around with it accordingly as you so wish now the one of the most important thing is the animation so once you see this uh, at this bottom this explains the timeline the preview the entire time the video is going the image is going to take when coming in and when when going out the most important thing is the timing so this is going to start at 19 seconds and it's going to end at 28.5 seconds so this is total time is going to take from the coming in to the 
end of the animation uh, the first thing you should pay attention to is the animation time this is the time it takes for the for the image to be drawn completely so the default is eight seconds you can increase or decrease accordingly you can increase or decrease the timing and you can see the total timing decreasing or decreasing or, or increasing accordingly and then this is the pause the pause time so the pause time is default at 0 0.5 seconds that means the time it will take after drawing for it to pause then it will transit to the next stage okay so if you want it to pause longer before you go to the next image then you can increase this time the, the pause time for example you make it six seconds which means after the drawing you want the image to wait for six seconds before it transits to the next one and the period of transition is set at one second you can increase or decrease that the time it takes for the animation to move from this particular image to the next image is two seconds okay so you can increase or decrease that so depending on your message you can align later on i will show you how to align the message completely so now you can save changes or you can refer back to previous or you can move ahead okay or you can select this to save the changes and another thing the last thing is drawing hand you can just click on it and you have the option to use no hand or you can have different types of hands from here you can use any of it of them or you can see recently used hands you can see the pens different types of paints you can see them over here you can just check around you can see them different different types of paints and you have the rosy if you want to use rosy you can see different roses okay depending on your message you can just select any you can see matte different types of hands you can see them all the way from here so depending on what kind of hands do you want to use you can easily select from this and you can specify that as the hand that you are going to use. So let's go back to the hand options and let's say we kept everything as it is and maybe we make it a moving or you can make it a draw but then we decrease the timing to 2 seconds or you can increase let's say to 3.5 seconds and then we decrease the waiting time. All you need to understand is as you are increasing or decreasing the time, the total time also is increasing or decreasing simultaneously. So let's say we you can include strokes or you don't want to include strokes you can always pre play it to see the preview like i've explained and once you are starting with the timing it is going to take and the pause time and the transition time then you can click on ok and it's going to come in so this is how the first way to access the image properties the second way to access the image property is once you are selected once you have selected the image or you can come to the timeline over here once you have the image selected you have different kind of icons over here so the the first one to the top uh, to the bottom left is the element properties which is the image property what kind of element is this and then the properties over here you can click on it and it is still going to bring you to the same place okay where you can edit all the image properties another shorter way to do it is you can come to this small arrow you click on this small arrow and you have access to other features as well the animation time you can see it 0.3.5 uh, you can see the pause time you can see it over here increase or decrease and you can see the transition time you can increase or decrease and you have the camera tool also later i will show you how to use the camera tool during your animation time or as you are creating your video within the canvas so this is basically image properties and how to edit or increase or decrease or play around with the properties so let's say at this point i would like to see the sample animation and then the timing of what we have added and the all the ed editings you can just come ahead or go ahead and play this and it's going to play from this particular image that we've selected so let's click on this and you can see the next thing that i want to show us is how to use the camera option okay the camera tool to specify the positions of our image for example now that we have added all the images okay we have added four images we can see as we select each and every one of it you can see the preview from the timeline and one thing we should pay attention to is this camera option okay so this is a set camera current current position so if you are starting with this position of this image and you want to keep it here even while playing the video or the animation from the scratch you can set this as the camera position so to do that you just select it you can come all the way here and just click on this and you can see it has been selected as the camera position if you want to change it you are free to uh, close the 
clear the camera position from here. This is enable and disable over here. You can do the same also from here. You can just click on this to enable or to view the camera's position. You can click on this and you can make it fixed at that position. So this is camera position. You can select each individual images and select the camera position to keep it at that position. Or you can select multiple. For example, you can come to the timeline, select the first one, hold down the shift key, and then select the last one. And you can see all of them have been selected. And if you are certain this is the position you want to fit in all of them, you can just come over here and click the camera position and it's going to snap all of them to that very position. So this is about how to use the camera tool in the canvas to make sure that you've snapped everything. So now when you start playing, you will see each and every one of them will maintain its same location while the images are being animated. Okay, so you can just come all the way here and let's say we start playing from the beginning and you can see this is the position of this first image and it's going to take that position even while playing the video. Okay, so you can see the second one is going to maintain that very position that we have just put for it. Same way to the third one, it's going to be at that very position because that's where the camera position had been positioned. So just like so, it has just shown us the preview. So this is how to use the camera. Another tool that I want to introduce us to is the enable and disable tool over here, the hide element. You can see it over here. This is it. If you select an image, you can hide that particular image if you want by just clicking on this and it's going to be hidden from the canvas. You can hide it or enable it, disable or enable it in the canvas. You may not want to delete it permanently or you may not want to delete it from the canvas maybe you may need it along the way during the editing of the video but you just want to temporarily disable it so you can just use this i button to just disable or enable it as appropriate as uh, as a time or as a story unveils another thing is you can delete a particular image by just coming to this select the image and you can see the delete icon over here so you can press delete and it's going to pop up that this is going to remove selected element and once you say yes it's going to delete it okay you can uh, you can undo that as well or you can press delete while you you are selecting that particular element you can press delete on your keyboard and it's going to perform the same function okay you just click on this and it's going to be deleted so this is deleting once you select another element you have another option down here which is the lock element function so once you click on this this element is going to be locked at this position and no changes is going to be applied to it. Once we lock a, a given element, you cannot change it. Okay, you can see you cannot change it. Nothing can be changed. This place is going to be the permanent position for it until you come back to the same element and unlock it. That is when you have the option to change different kind of things also from here. So you have, you have now understood everything, the image and the camera option as well as the properties of the image. So the next thing we are going to look at is how to add text into the canvas, how to bring in text into the canvas. So the next thing we are going to look at is how to bring in text into the canvas. Okay, so to bring in text, you have the text feature over here, the text tool, add text tool over here at the bottom right. So you just click on it and it will be pop up, you'll be prompted with this add text platform or the add text menu. So you have the option to write your text. For example, welcome to my channel over here. And you can see that the default, you can play around with the different text features. Okay. For example, the fonts, you can bring in different fonts. As you can see them, you have a bunch of different fonts. If you want to different font styles, if you want to add any according to your choice you can add in any font style of your choice from here and you can change the look you want to make it light or you want to make it black or regular or thin you can just select from here and you can see thin this is thin this is black and this is light if you want to make it lighter and you can check out for more fonts over here you can see any kind of font you are looking out for uh, you can see them different different type of fonts these are imported fonts okay you can see them over here if you want, you can uh, add other fonts also into the canvas by just selecting a particular font and just coming here to pressing on this plus icon will add that particular font into the imported fonts. Okay, so it has just been added. This balloon 
uh, this Baloo Baijan, you can add it as well. I used to like it. So once you select, you can see it has been added also. Okay, and to be selected, you can see it over here. You can see the ones we've just added just now. And once you are done with the more font addition, you can just click on this and it's going to go back to the normal one. Now you have other text editing features also like the alignment. You can align left, you can align center, you can click to align center or you can align right depending on your choice. Okay, if you want to align left, right and center, you can do all that from here. Let's say I want to align center and you can change the coloration of the text from here. Okay, you just click on this. And you have the option to select to and put in any color any color of your choice so assuming i want to go with this red color or if you have the color the hex value you can just uh, put in the value and it's going to be added directly if you know the hex value you just put, put in the code and it's going to add that particular color so as assuming i'm going with this color i just click on this and it's just showing the preview over here and once you click on this select icon you're going to see you can see that it's been added into your your timeline into your canvas so assuming i want to put it at the beginning i want to put it at the beginning welcome to my channel uh, something like an intro then i can put something like a hand handshake so for example this one i can make it welcome to my channel and then i put this handshake uh, directly i can just put this uh, I can select this image and make sure I position it that at that position and then I can come over and click on this and then I can position it as well. So you can position text using the camera tool the same way you position the images. So you select the text and you can position it uh, just like so. Once you hit on the camera icon, it's going to position it to this very point. So you can play around with, you can select the image, you can play around with the properties. For example, I want it to be moving. And I want it to come from the top and then I want the timing to enter the animation time to just be just like uh, 1.5 seconds and then the transition time 0 0.5 and just say okay and then I need to specify the hands as well the hand that's going to bring it assuming I want to go with this one I just select an okay and you can see the preview okay moving from this side smooth and then you have these features, the animation time, the pause time, and the transition time, everything has selected. So you can play preview if you want. Okay, so you can see, welcome, something like that, some, something like that. A hand is going to push a hand in, the hands in. You can say okay to this. So the next thing is we can try to look at the text properties, just like the way we have looked at the image properties, we can equally take a look at the text properties, same way. We're double clicking on it, you can see the properties. So we want it to, you can come back to the text properties features that we've just shown over here, or you can come to the graphic filter and play around with the contrast, the saturation, the brightness and the glow, the blur effect. You can play around with all this. You can add drop shadow, you can add inner glow, inner shadow or bevel or there about. And then you have the drawing options. How do you want the text to be drawn? Right now it's set to draw with uh, uh, only draw the strokes and with these properties and with this timing at default. So you can try to play a preview and have it. Let's see a preview of it. So this is how it's going to welcome to my channel. Okay, so this is a preview. You can reduce the timing depending on how you want it to play and then you can reduce the transition as well. So let's see, th this is okay. And for it to start at the beginning before getting to these images, I have to make sure that I select this one, drag this welcome and drag this hand to the beginning. Okay, so the hand comes first, then the text. Okay, another way to access the text properties is still by selecting the text and coming over here to click on the element properties. You can delete, you can unshow and show the element in the text and you can position the camera as well from here and you can lock it or unlock it accordingly. So let's have a preview of this particular welcome to my channel of how and how it's going to look like. So I just select the first one where I can come all the way and see start playing from scratch, but I just want to see the intro. Welcome to my channel. Okay, click on it and see the hand coming in and then welcome to my channel. So this is just a preview of how I want it to be. So this is how to add text. You can add different kind of text. You can have text of any length, of any width. You can just go ahead and add anything. Thank you for watching. Okay, you can just center it or you can leave it over here. 
or you can break it thank you for watching you can break it something like that and then you can change the coloration to something like this and then you can just click and come back here bring it here or you can bring it at any position you can just go ahead and click on this to put in the the position to do to enable the camera position to snap it at this point and then one other feature that i forgot to show, show us is the rotation tool once you select a given image or a given text you can see the four corners over here you can increase or decrease it and you have this rotation tool that you can rotate the the text accordingly okay you can rotate it this way or you can just make it straight depending if you want to rotate it you can do it from here or you can just select that rotation tool and turn it the same thing to apply to the image as well you can come to this rotation you can just uh, rotate it easily just like so okay very very easily and it's done very fantastically so depending if you want to do that you, you're free to try it so this is basically how to bring in text and how to access its properties and change accordingly so if you want to change the hand tool also on the text you can come to the drawing hand instead of the default one you can add another another hand or you can use pens you can have pen write the text for you you just select it and you can see the preview so let's say we have this pen to write this particular thank you and let's say we say okay and while selecting the thank you you can have a preview from the current element from that thank you so you can see thank you for watching i think that kind of looks fantastic and cool the next thing is we're going to learn how to add background music to our animation video scribe comes in with a range of different background music and you can access that by just coming to this background music over here you can just click on this and you have access to the different background music available adrenaline ask me why be kind rewind blue shuffle dance blue note brass and you can see all of them over here you can just click to have a preview I used to like this one in most of my YouTube videos. I used to use this one as my background music. You can select check anyone. You can just have a preview. You can move to the next page. You can see so many of them and you can see you can sort accordingly. You can sort according to the different kind of scenarios or different kind of conditions. If you want ambient, you know, blues, you have all ganas, you have dance, you have easy electronic festive you can check from any according to the message you are trying to create and you can sort by name by short long by short long from short to the longest or from longest to the shortest or slow to fast so if you select a given audio for example this one i select this you have the properties over here for example you can loop the track directly from here you can loop friendly tracks or you can loop this particular track from here you can increase or decrease the audio from the, the the volume of the audio from here you can increase or decrease it so for example right now if i play you can see the good the volume has gone down a little yeah it has gone down a little so you can delete if you want or you can just go ahead and add it in once you select this you've added this onto the background of this particular animation that we are creating so let me increase the volume a little bit and if you don't have a particular audio that you want to use over here and maybe you have a given one on the local drive or on another drive you want to import it you can just come all the way over here you can import an mp3 audio track you can just click on this and you can navigate to wherever you have it saved and you can just go ahead and bring it in very easily you just check around wherever you have that particular audio saved you just select it and you can bring it in or you can check online if you have any url containing the the audio you can check over here but it has to be an mp3 format uh, audio before it can come in so let's say i have selected this adrenaline and i just click on this let's say i'm citing with everything i have previewed it and i had it and i like it you can just click on this and i have added this as my background music so anytime i need to add any background music i can just come over here and it's going to automatically override that particular one that we've just added okay so this is basically how to add the background music so let's try to play the animation from beginning and let's hear the the background music so let's stop it 
stop the preview and now we can see that our stories are becoming familiar and we are becoming familiar with the key features and tools in the canvas. So the next thing that I want to show us is how to record a voiceover in video scribe. So you can see over here, the next icon is the voiceover. If you want to make voiceover, there are cases when I make my voiceover outside of video scribe and then i will import it and paste it in i will import it i will show you how to import voiceovers and then i will show you how to make voiceovers on scribe okay so if you want to make voiceovers on scribe you can just select this voiceover icon just click on it and you have the option over here to select the microphone that you want to use what type of microphone do you want to use you can select and you can see the bunch of microphones that you are like you are likely going to use during the recording I'm using Rode NT-USB mic, so I can use select this and I want this to be my mic. You can use any other mic if you have it enabled. You can play describe on record also. While we are recording, you can play describe as well. Okay, so you can be playing describe while describe is playing or you can just go ahead and record without playing describe. So you can just have a preview. Later on, you can connect the message, the text, the image and the voiceover. I'll show you how to do that very nicely. So to record your scribe, to, to record your voiceover, all you need to do is to press this red button over here and you will start recording immediately. Three, two, one. So you can say allow. Welcome to my channel. This is my channel. And I hope you are learning something from, from this video. So you can stop. And you can see it's processing the audio. So at this point, you have the option to either delete it or you can play it to have a preview of it. They allow. Welcome to my channel. This is my channel. Okay, so you can see you can hear the voice very clearly and all that. Okay, so this is how to bring in. You can delete if you want to re-record uh, re it. You can delete or you can accept this. If you have accepted, then you can just click on this tick button and you have accepted this and it's going to be part of the voiceover. So if you have another voiceover that you have recorded somewhere, for example, I used to record my own on Audacity. I will record it and do the editing first, then I will just come all the way over here and import it. So all you need to do is to come over here. If you have your voiceover somewhere recorded, you can just come all the way and just import it. Right now, I have already inserted one if you don't have any you can come over here and import it like i have explained so let's hear the video uh the voiceover and the audio background the background music that we've added and see the synchronization how it is being done so let's play from beginning just to hear a sample of it welcome to my channel you can see just the preview it is now connecting and our work is becoming richer and richer and easier and easier. So depending on what kind of message you have very easily, you can create this and you can play around with the animation very nicely. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to change the background coloration in video scribe. The next thing is we will learn how to add backgrounds to our canvas. We can change the background to the canvas. Right now it's pure white. You can see it over here and you can change it by just coming to this, to this background tool. Okay. Background option tool over here. Once you click on it, it's going to pop up with different kind of background. Okay. Different kind of background options. This is different kind of color. You can select this and this is no vignette. You can select any one of them and you can have a preview over over here you can check with vignette or soft vignette or hard vignette over here so let's say with no vignette and we can change the color from here let's say we select something like this and we can click on ok and you can see the difference so you can just select this and you can see it has changed the entire canvas to this to that particular color but i think it doesn't look professional so we can click on this and say with soft vignette the vignette is just like the shadow, okay? That professional shadow, okay, something like this. You know, so one place is lighter than the edges. You can see it. And we can you can change the color from here to something much better. For example, if we use something like this, something lighter, you can see with the vignette, you can see it now looking much more better and professional. You can click and check, we can say with hard vignette, then you can see the impact 
okay we had vignette so this that particular shadow coming in and making it looks kind of superb and professional so you can change it but i think i prefer something whitish with no vignette and uh, let's say we go with something like a white color but a bit ash color okay something like this and we can select this and i think we just make i uh, need to make this uh this uh the less rough one okay something like this and say okay and i think this kind of looks cool and fantastic and you can go with different kind of uh, features so this is how to change background coloration and to add in different kind of vignettes and other impact as well so you can add different color of your choice so let's say i accept this and we go with something like this uh, at this point this is good so we can take this as our background okay so this is how to add change background in video scribe so the next thing is to learn how to change the hand tool that can write in the scribe for you so you can do that by coming over here you can just select it and you can select the hand tool whatever hand tool that you want to use and you can choose no hand or if you want you can choose uh, the different hands that we have okay select the default ones or you can select different pens different roses like we've explained earlier so let's try to save the project first okay at this point let's try to save the project before anything happened or something happened and we lose it so you can come to save project over here you can just select click on save and you specify where do you want to save it is it inside the computer or online if you want to save it on computer you can just give describe a name so for example let's say this is scribe tutorial and you can select the file location where do you want to save it so let's say we go to my video scribe file over here and then you can choose this okay i'm going to save it over here and now we have saved so you have saved it and then we can continue with the work so the next thing i want to show us is how to add gif images okay gif files into into video scribe so to add a gif file is you, you can just come all the way to the add image file over here and then you can come down here and you can see gif file gifs online so you can see gifs okay usually gifs are movable parts or movable images uh, images that can move you can see them uh, you can see a preview of them and if you check and you don't have you don't see anyone that you like you can actually create your own gif if you so wish you can create your own and you can import it into their canvas you can select anyone for example you can select this one and you can you can try to play and have a preview of how it's going to look like you can double click on it and you can have a preview of how it's going to look like you can see it. this is how it's going to behave so this is a gif very short video script very short one so in cases when you have checked and you can't see anyone that you've liked online i want to share with you a very cool website where i used to download i used to make and download my own gif from directly so to that website is called gifpaint.com gifpaint.com you just come to your browser and just type gifpaint.com and it's going to bring you over here down here you have the canvas where you write or you create or you construct any kind of gif that you want to use you have the different features for example the fill in color and you can see the 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 ink dropper you can see the a big the gif brush over here and then you can increase or decrease the size of the gif from here if you want to put in any color you can just put in any color select directly accordingly in, on this one and you have if you have a color code you can easily put accordingly and it's going to show that color down here you have the play the skip and the move uh, buttons okay if you want to uh, try to play and have a preview of about the gif you've just created for example let's say i want to create a gif of so maybe i want to take any color so assuming i take this color and then i put in okay i just put something like welcome over here and with this coloration and once i set i'm setting everything is according to what i need I can just click to have a preview of it and you can see how it's going to look like okay i think the speed is too much so i pause and then i can reduce the speed from here okay so i can play it and see i think it's still too fast can reduce the speed a little and you can see it now you can see the preview of how it is so assuming i like this let's say i increase it a little 
assuming I like this and I stopped, assuming I like what I see and I want to download it, all I need to do is to come over here and say save GIF. And it's going to show you the preview. And once you're starting, you just come over here and click on download. And you can see it has just downloaded your GIF for you. Look at it over here. So if you want to bring, this is GIF paint.gif. If you want to bring it into the scribe. So now we are back in scribe. And assuming we don't have any GIF that we like and want to import this GIF, we just come over here and select this. And we can navigate to the location where we have it. You can see it over here, GIF and you can see the preview over here you just click on open and it's going to import it so you can see it's down here so you can increase the size and you can double click as well to have the properties of it and graphic filters drawing features and then you can click to have a preview of it as well so once you're starting you said okay and this is how to bring in gif from the default ones that we have on scribe and they want to create another one afresh on your own and then import it the next thing is i would like to show you how to import a voiceover that i have done outside of video scribe and then maybe try to play a preview of it to override the existing one that i have made uh, from the scribe that i have recorded okay so i can come to voiceover over here and just click on this and navigate to the location where I, let's say I delete the one that is in existence and I can navigate, click on MP3, importing the MP3. I can just navigate to wherever I have saved it. For example, I have saved mine in this video scribe and benefits of reading a book. I can just click on open and we can listen to it, have a preview. I often get asked this question. Okay. So you can see it very clearly. So you can just we can say we've accepted this and if you want to override or you want to edit or you want to reduce the volume or anything you can always come over here and do the same thing the next thing is how to add charts into the video scribe so you can construct your own charts according to the content that you have you can always do that by just coming down here to the add new chart button over here the icon over here the tool over here you just click on it and you can see it brings in the add chart uh, dialog over here. So the first thing you need to notice is you have levels. Okay, this is levels, for example, June, July, August, maybe how many students I have in June, July, August of this year. And then the next is we have the data values. So in June, what is the value? In July, what is the value? And in August, what's the value? And then we have the chart type. What kind of charts are you going to create? Is it a bar chart or you can click and see you, are you creating a pie chart or are you creating a line chart whichever one you can select and you can play around with the coloration if you want to put in color you can just select this and you can check the font level what kind of fonts are you targeting in in the description or in the chart values or the chart names and then we have the level location you have inside outside and known okay so you can leave it at inside and you can have the border thickness you can increase or decrease the pixels and you can show values if you want. So for example, let's say in January, February and March, January, comma, February, comma, and March, how many students I've got? For example, I've got maybe, assuming this is 200, comma, this is 500, comma, and then this is 1,600. Okay, so I want it to be a bar chart. And I want to include color to make it look professional. And I want to leave the font style and the, uh, the level to be inside and the both border thickness as five pixels. So once I click on, okay, you can see a preview of that particular graph. Okay. So you can see the level to be inside and you can make it outside. If you want, you can make it decide to make it outside or you can remove coloration or you can make it on a very different place. You can just click and drag the the canvas and you can bring it to the side over here you can double click on it always to see the properties of the chart you can come back to the chart edit chart button over here that we have just shown you can decide to show in april also you can add may if you want and then you can come down here and add the values for example over here in april i may have maybe 800 and then this one and we have maybe 1000 or 900 or there about so you can make it like this and if you are starting with everything you can check the graphic title uh, how the coloration and everything the drop shadow if you want to drop in a shadow 
you want to leave it uh, if you want to drop a shadow you can and you can see the drawing options you can have a preview and check out the pro uh, the preview of the drawing different kind of options that we have ex just like we have explained in any kind of element that you have brought in you can always come over here and have a preview about how it's going to look like this is february this is march and this is april this is may you know the graph is now complete something like that and you can always come to make it outside the level location you can make it uh, outside if you want i think it can looks good also you can see january february march and you can see everything is intact you can come over here and play around with the properties you can lock it you can show and unshow it if you want and you can do many more things so this is basically how to add different charts in video scribe you can select it you can change it to be a line chart if you don't want a bar chart you can make it a line chart and you can say okay and you can see it has just changed it to a line chart very nicely and you can change it also to to another type of chart for example a pie chart and you can say okay and you can see it has changed it to a pie chart you can always uh, minimize so that you can see what we have just done what you have just done okay so you can see it very nicely and clearly done okay so this is how to add charts and edit them in video scribe okay so the next thing is i would like to create a very simple video scribe tutorial animation uh, from scratch so i'm going to select everything on the canvas and delete it so I'm select everything and then i'm going to press my delete and it's going to delete everything and let's say I, I want to start so before you start let's say i have my script written over here i often get asked this question why should i read more why will i bother reading a book when i can just watch a video summary of it it's true that you can save some time this way and uh, this way and there is nothing wrong with that however reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body so i start from this scratch from the beginning i often get asked this question why should i read more so i can go back to to my scribe and just come all the way to insert an image for example i open get asked this question why should i read more so i can come to the search bar over here and search reading and you can see different kind of uh, images okay so assuming i just search and i like this one i just select it and i add it in the canvas i can just position it over here so this is the first one why should I, why sh why why should i read more that's the question i often got asked now i have to add that text why should i read more so i can come to add text over here and just add why should i read more and add some coloration to it assuming i want to go with this color and i say okay and select it okay so i bring it down over here why should i read more okay and there should be a question mark so i come back to the text and add a question mark over here and select this and so let's say i want to so this is the first one i often got asked this question why should i read more so i usually when i start i usually always consult with the text why should i read more so why would why, why would you bother reading a book why would you bother reading a book when i can just watch a youtube video summary of it okay so i can now come over and come back to the canvas i can now put a youtube summary so i can come over here and say youtube if i want to put youtube i can just search youtube and let's say i want to put something like this to make it quite visible i need to change the coloration of the background to something like maybe something lighter let me go back to my white think i like it this way so let's say youtube so something like youtube and so the the wording is later i will synchronize with the with the voiceover where will i bother reading a book when i can just watch a video summary of it it's true one can save some time okay so you can save some time with this yeah with youtube videos so we can add a text you can see you can save some time yes it's true you can save time and i can add the color 
and then say you can save time yes it's true that you can save time with this and then i go back to the text again uh you can save time in this way there is nothing wrong with that however reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body so this is a good quote i just selected i go back to the canvas I just go to the add texts and paste it like this and I can decide to make it centralized. I can make it one line and then maybe centralize it this way and bring it to center. I centralize it and then I change the coloration to something like red. Okay. And say okay. And I can bring it over here. So this is a quote. And I want to bring in something that showcases exercise. So I can just come over here and just put exercise and such. Or I can just go ahead and come to people over here. And you can just go on. I'm looking for something that can depict exercise. Something like this can do. I can bring it over here. So I can say reading is, um, so we can come over, say reading is to the body what exercise uh, is to the mind, what exercise is to the body. Okay. And you can't train your body by just watching YouTube videos. So I can go back and I need something like that can tell me that this is not enough. I can't train my body by just watching YouTube. So I can just come over. I want to put something like a circle, something like this on my youtube i want to circle it okay you can see i can just increase or decrease the size i want to circle it and i want to put a star something like you cannot okay so let's say you can come over and you can search for star over here or you can come to the arrows over here and search around or you can come and search cancel over here and you will see it this one okay so this one i just want to put it can cancel you can just move it and reduce the sizing okay to something simple okay you can cancel this and then i need it that this is not enough for youtube video so i can just put an arrow you can search for arrow you can see different kind of arrows you can search for arrows different type you can select this one if you want let's say i go with this one but I want it to face here, so I double click on it. I can flip it to look at the other side and then I can select it and bring it down and I can try to rotate it. Select the edge, reduce the sizing and then just put it this way and rotate it a little bit more. I'm moving the canvas and select it and rotate it a little bit more so it appears like this something like it's not enough okay so now i've finished the first sentence usually i used to put in the content based on until i finish the entire canvas before i move to the next page so this is the first page and i make sure i got the wordings right okay up to this point and you can't train your body just by watching youtube videos so you can't train your body just by watching YouTube videos. So you can't train your body just by watching YouTube videos. So the next thing is I need to select everything and click on the camera because I'm okay with all their positions. So I can select the first one, hold down the shift key and select the last one to make sure I selected everything. I can do that individually, but I prefer to do it once at a time and just click on the camera icon over here to give it a snap of all of them over here. So the next thing is I want to play around with the timing. So I select each one of them and reduce this timing. For example, this one, I reduce the animation time to one minute and then the transition, I usually leave it at 0 0.5 and I want this one to move in from the top. And I want to have a dry or drawing hand, something like this you can do, okay then you can select ok as well so that i finish with this and then i can come to why should i read more just double click reduce it to maybe something like 1.5 reduce the, and a transition 2.5 and say ok 
save time can go with 0 0.5 and say 1 0 0.5 as well and we can go to the circle over here usually circles and arrows i use to leave them at 0 0.5 and transition 0 0.5 this arrow as well the same way 0 0.5 transition 0.5 as well so you can see this this uh, small star uh, 0 0.5 also and transition 0 0.5 and then you can come to this training image and maybe i can make it one because i want it to move in and from the bottom and you can select the hand select this one and say okay and we can select this one as well Alright, so virtually I have done everything except the YouTube, which is underneath this. I can double click on it and I can make it also a moving or I can make it just a type. Okay, you can type it and we can change the transition to 0.5 and say OK. So I want to insert the voiceover. I can just come all the way here, select and then insert the voiceover. I've inserted one. Okay. So I can come over here, select, and then go to the voiceover. I can see benefits of reading a book and just select open and I've inserted it. You can play around with the volume. I want to keep it at the maximum volume. So I click on OK. So let's try to preview what we have just done and then see how we can synchronize the message with the voiceover that we have. Assuming I don't have any audio, I don't want to have any background music at this point. So I can remove the one that I have put earlier on. You can just delete it. Okay, you can delete it. I don't want any background music at this point. So let's start from the scratch and then try to coordinate and readjust and connect the images with the voiceover. So let's start from scratch. I often get asked this question. Why should I read more? Why will I bother reading a book when I can just watch a video summary of it? You see, they are not synchronized. So I can just go ahead, you can select this and use this hand. Oh, it's from here. I didn't select that. I use no hand, so I have to select a hand. So let's start from the scratch again and see from the beginning. I often get asked this question. Why should I read more? Why will I bother reading a book when I can just watch a video summary of it? Okay, so a video summary of it up to this YouTube uh, uh, sign. It's okay. Very okay. So now we have to wait a little bit after the YouTube. Then we say it saves time. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it because it saves time. So let's say we bring in this circle. It is true. We can save some time. And then let's try to play from the YouTube sign over here. Let's play from the YouTube sign. Why will I bother reading a book when I can just watch a video summary of it? Focus and concentration. Okay, next. And then we, we, we go back to the text again and we can see reading improves your focus and concentration. Reading much like running or listening to music can be a form of meditation. Okay, so reading is also a form of meditation. So we can go back and add another text with another bullet. Okay, meditation. All right, so we add the same color and say, okay. We can bring it down over here and increase the size. So it's a bit too much. So we we'll reduce a little bit and then we can align. So focus, concentration and meditation. So we can go back and check meditation. So with all the distractions nowadays, people are really have really big problems with concentrating. So we have to put an image. So we have to put an image that showcases distraction. So something like we can come over here and we can use any image that shows distraction. Maybe something like with all the distraction nowadays. So you can search from those images. So something like this. We have lots of distractions. So for example, something like this can go. You can just put this. Uh, somewhere here, a lot of distractions. Now the text says that people are having big problems with concentrating. So we can take in big problems with concentrating. It's a big problem, control C, and then we can, and then we can come over here, come to the text and paste it. Control V, we can select and say big problems with, with concentrating. 
Okay, we can centralize it and we can change the color to something like blue and then say okay. And we can bring it over here to the top here. Big problems with concentrated. Okay, so we are still yet to fill the canvas, so we'll go back. So don't be one of them. In a single five minute sign five minute span, the average person will divide their time into in time between working on the, a task, checking email, and chatting with a couple of people. So in five minutes span, you can come back over here, add some text. We can say in five minutes, five minutes span, we can change this to maybe something like this color and say okay. And five minutes span, you can increase the sign, you can change it to main minutes. Okay, select yes. And in five minutes' time, people divide their time into three so we can come to the arrow and select any arrow that depicts three case something like this can do so we can rotate we can drag it over here so showcasing that people can shift this one a little and shift this a little also and then we can add the text so people Subdivide their, uh, the average person will divide their time between working on a task, checking email. So you can add it, add a text, working on tasks. Okay. You can select this, working on tasks. You can put it here. Checking email is the next one. So we add another one. Checking email. And then we can bring it over here. Control back a little. You say checking email. And the last one is chatting with people. Okay, so chatting with a couple of people or using their smartphones is the same thing. Chatting and using smartphone. So we can add one and say chatting, use the same coloration and bring it in. All right, so chatting with people and then now the canvas is filled up so we can try to connect everything together. But the next step is to reduce the timing and play around with the timing. So for this one, uh, let's say for the image, I select it and make it five seconds. And I make the transition 0.5 and I make it move in and I make it from the top. I change the hand to something like this and say, okay, and select this. I can come to the facts. Okay, facts, maybe you can select from here. You can double click, make it 0.5 because it's quite small. Change the transition to 0.5 and say, okay. But I forgot, we need to select from this, from this fact to the end of the selection hold down the shift key and select till the end so we have selected everything because this is the position that we want we can snap the camera on all of them so we've snapped the camera and so we can finalize this focus we can make it 0.5 seconds all right reduce the transition go to concentration maybe we can make it one one second and make it 0.5 go to meditation as well and made it 0.5 this is a transition go to five minutes also 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then go to this distraction and make it moving from the top change the hand to this one and then come back and change the timing to let's say 0 0.5 seconds or one second depending okay 0 0.5 and then we have this arrow we can have it at one second 0.5 with the transition and then we have the text this one can take one second okay 0.5 transition this one also can take one second 
transition 0.5 and then we have this one as well 0.5 and we can have this one 0.5 so the last one is this one so double click on it and make this one one second as well all right so okay so now everything is set so we can try to play it from the from the other end so let's see how we can connect from the last end to this one so you can play from this one just watching youtube videos so let's get straight to the facts okay so we have to delay it before coming to the facts we have to delay it here a little bit so let's double click and it's going to go back to that place so let's say from this arrow we just double click it and we'll create a delay of maybe two seconds so let's play from the arrow again and see by just watching youtube videos so let's get straight to the facts reading improves your focus and concentration so we say let's get straight to the facts and then we start okay so focus let's remove the a waiting time and the transition time because it delays from getting to focus so let's go back to facts straight to the facts reading improves your focus and concentration okay so let's delay remove the delay because we just wanted to get to concentration fast so focus and concentration at the same time okay so let's play again improves your focus and concentration fine much like okay one. so before we get to the next meditation we have to create a delay over here of about 2.5 seconds so let's play from focus again proves your focus and concentration reading much like running or listening to music can be a form of meditation so let's make it from 0 2.5 to let's say 4 and let's see again focus and concentration reading much like running or listening to music can be a form of meditation okay so for you to mark the meditation right we have to come from the concentration and make it maybe 5.5 okay so the delay is 5.5 so let's see it focus and concentration reading much like running or listening to music can be a form of meditation yeah fine perfect with all the distractions nowadays people have really big problems okay so big problem is should delay from here and then we can have uh, let's say delay two seconds 1.5 so let's hear from people have big problems connect this so play from here okay i think this one moves too fast so we can make it two and we can delay this to two let's see again all the distractions nowadays people have really big problems with concentrating fine don't be one of them okay so don't be one of them this one should be delayed at least two seconds so let's hear again really big problems with concentrating don't be one of them in a single five minute span okay delay some more time maybe two three okay so let's hear again in a single five minute span the average person will divide their time between working on a task and checking emails chatting with a couple of friends and using their smartphone and i think this is perfect Okay, so this is perfect. So this is basically how to do it. So let's try it from the beginning and see how it is done. You can remove this zooming out at the end by just coming over here. So let's try it again. If you want to see the that page, you just double click or you can come over here, double click on that image and you can see the full page. So on the preview, if you want to remove the zooming out at the end, you can remove it. The average person will divide their time between working on a task and checking emails. You can see it over here. So we remove it. Okay. So we re so we remove zoom at end. So we close. So this is basically how to do it. How to create the message. You can work from the scripts once you get it done, and then you can put in the camera, and then you can reduce the play around with the timing, and then you can try to align the timing directly with the voiceover. So let's play it one more time and see the transition and how the message is being connected from the beginning this time. I often get asked this question, 
Why should I read more? Why will I bother reading a book when I can just watch a video summary of it? It is true, you can save some time this way. There's nothing wrong with that. However, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. And you can't train your body by just watching YouTube videos. So let's get straight to the facts. Reading improves your focus and concentration. Reading, much like running or listening to music, can be a form of meditation. With all the distractions nowadays, people have really big problems with concentrating. Don't be one of them. In a single 5 minute span, the average person will divide their time between working on a task and checking emails, chatting with a couple of friends and using their smartphones. Yeah, so this is kind of perfect and in fact, this is the basics of how to create a simple animation using video scribe so you can just carry along you can use the text i've shared the i will share the text in the resource section you can always use that text and follow along and re reproduce this same video and be very careful with the timings and make sure you align and connect all the video and the animations together the next thing is we're going to try to export the video now that we have finished everything we can come over and export the video, but you can come all the way here and save. Click on save to save the work you have done. The next thing is we can export the video that we have just created. So to do that, you can just come all the way to the share icon over here or download or publish scribe video. You can just click on this icon and you have a preview of the, of the entire video that you've created. You can add your logo over here if you want. You can add your logo inside the output video. You can add the logo directly from here and then you can export. You can download the video on your computer. You can get a shared link that you can share with people and they watch it and you can export it to Vimeo. If you have Vimeo account, you can export or you can export it to us as a PowerPoint. You can export it as a PowerPoint. So these are the different various exporting options that you have. You can add logo, then forget. And at this point, let's say we want to export it to our computer, to the local computer. You can just come all the way here and click on download. And you have this option. You have different formats. You can download WMV or QuickTime, which is move. And then you can have the AVI image sequence. And these are image in PNG and JPEG if you want to download different kind of different images from the video. But what I usually go for for quality is AVI. And then for as for the sizing, I used to go for 1080, which is the full HD version. You can increase or decrease accordingly over here as well. You can do 640 or 720, which is the standard HD. But I usually go for the full HD, which is the best size. And the frame rate, I used to keep it at as 30. Next is you give the export a name. Okay, so you just clean this one and say video scribe tutorial. And then you specify location where do you want it to export you can just specify the location i want you to export it over here and say choose so let's say video scribe tutorial underscore one okay so once i click on this it's going to start exporting immediately okay so once i click on this you can see it is now rendering and it will start the exporting very nicely so let's just have a preview about how the exporting is going to start so this is rendering now. So right, you can see now it has started. It is starting to render. Okay, so now that it is rendering, I'm going to pause the video and I'll resume it at the end of it all so I can show you the outcome of what we have rendered and then have a look at what we have downloaded and what we have created on our own. I often get asked this question, why should I read more? Why will I bother reading a book when I can just watch a video summary of it? It is true, you can save some time this way. There's nothing wrong with that. However, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body and you can't train your body by just watching YouTube videos. So let's get straight to the facts. Reading improves your focus and concentration. Reading, much like running or listening to music, can be a form of meditation. 
with all the distractions nowadays, people have really big problems with concentrating. Don't be one of them. In a single 5 minute span, the average person will divide their time between working on a task and checking emails, chatting with a couple of friends and using their smartphone. So that's it. This is how to create a simple uh, video scribe animation.